She is known for her underwater discoveries. Now a local explorer will be part of a show airing on the Discovery Channel. Shipwreck hunter Valerie Van Heest is here to tell us about next week's episode of Expedition Unknown. This is so exciting on many levels. One, that you get to do it and that you're from West Michigan and that we have this, you know, um, thing lurking in the bottom. I don't want to give too much away, but you know, you're, you go on your, your journey. Yeah, it, it all began really. I did an episode, just a small part in an episode last year on this show. And just in the course of filming, I talked to the host and he said, what else are you doing? I told him about this plane crash and us trying to solve it. And he said, I want to come oh, along. Oh, good. So, so when did you actually film the episode? Yeah, we filmed it in August. Okay. And uh, it, I've been working with the crew ever since then. They're really trying to get accuracy on this um, reality television. Right. Trying to be accurate. How about that? <laughs> um, and they, um, uh, we've been feeding them a lot of the information, the images. Uh, we've uh, had a chance to review the film before it airs, oh, which wow. is right. really Not sort of, un heard of unheard of in TV land. So, tell, can you tell us anything about um, you know what that was like to go with them? Like, you know, give us any little sneak well, peek. Well, you know, um, it's a lot of standing around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I learned that about filming. Um, it's a lot of retakes. Um, this host is um, phenomenal at what he does. He's a real archaeologist. He really can cut to the matter, uh, you know, the important matters here. Um, and he knows how to say things so much better than we do. So a lot of times I would say something and he'd say, say it again like this. So even though it's real, um, there is a little bit of Hollywood mm -hmm. in involved in this, but that's what makes the show great. Yeah, did you get any closer to we actually did. This um, particular crew was very interested in spending time on the lake, um, actually arranged for some equipment for us to use, and uh, we covered a lot of ground. Um, we had some excitement oh, out okay. there. Okay, just a little I'm tease. I'm not supposed to talk I about know. it. That's, <laughs> that's all we needed was just a little bit of the tease. Can you just give us the backstory on the plane crash? Yeah, June uh, 24, just after midnight, this plane uh, was traveling from uh, mini, uh, excuse me, from New York to Minneapolis. It encountered a storm over Lake Michigan. It disappeared. Um, all 58 people died. This was the worst aviation disaster in the country at the time. And uh, it's up there now as a, a ranking of one of the mysteries that hasn't been solved. And do you find it, I mean, you've done so much searching in Lake Michigan. Do you find it interesting that we can't find something as big as a plane? Well, you know, actually, this is going to be smaller than anything we found. We found 21 shipwrecks off uh, the shores of West Michigan over the last 20 years. But what we're looking for here is a debris field. Mm -hmm. We know from the human remains and the parts of the plane that were found 70 years ago, we know that this would be a debris field okay. at the bottom, maybe as big as a football field, little pieces. And we also know that the sands of Lake Michigan shift. shift. And so maybe when we're covering an area, maybe the wreckage is covered. So mm. we're afraid that yeah. maybe we will never find it. Right. Wow. So interesting. Yeah. Thank you yeah. so much, Valerie. I just, I love, I'm a history buff. I love everything about this and especially the fact that you can shed a little light on West Michigan and Lake Michigan and the importance that it's played in our history. Well, and for any of the viewers that want to come on uh, March 21st to Holland to the Knickerbocker, we're going to share a behind the scenes of how this episode was done. Oh, I love that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks, Valerie. Of course, we've put more information on our website, 13onyourside.com.